Hey everybody, uh, I just wanted to make a quick heads up video. I saw an article in the Sunday, January 10th, New York Times business section, the new sperm economy, okay? Here it is. Uh, and I just want to give you a heads up uh, in an effort to possibly have you avoid a world of hurt. Now there is a terrible shortage of sperm donors, according to the article. Uh, big sperm clinics in the U.S. are typically located near elite universities, so uh, guys can go and maybe get a couple bucks and, uh, and deliver their sperm or donate their sperm. Now there are Facebook groups. Since there's such a lack of sperm donors, uh, there are Facebook groups that are being put together where women are trying to find uh, a donor that's suitable to them. Here's the point of this video. Here's the problem. You could be on the hook for child support. You could be sued for child support if you don't follow the law meticulously in this case, okay? Buried in the article, they do mention, and I'll quote now, uh, it says, quote, the legal risk for both parties, risk that a mother will ask the donor for child support and risk that the donor will want custody is high. You bet it's high. Uh, if somebody can find a way of uh, getting money from you, especially if they may go on public assistance, you never know if they might lose their job, and the state courts require that they go after the sperm donor or the father, biological father, you could be in a world of hurt. There's a whole bunch of rules and regulations around this stuff. Uh, so through the eyes of a family law attorney, when I see Facebook groups popping up by reading about it in a newspaper where people are looking for sperm donors, they don't. Uh, give you the warning or they don't care whether or not you could be on the hook for child support. That's your problem. There's other rules and regulations that you need to learn about in your jurisdiction. Does a physician need to be involved uh, in the insemination process? Because if that's the case, the court's going to find that you're on the hook for child support if you didn't have a doctor do it. Um, is there an agreement that was made before insemination? Whoa, if you don't have the right kind of agreement set up, you could be on the hook for child support. Here's a point of the video. Don't start donating sperm on social media because there's a good chance you, you could end up in child support litigation. Think, just because people are doing something doesn't mean it's in your best interest. So think, speak to a local family law attorney if you're doubting whether or not you're doing the right thing. It'll keep you out of our office. We want you out of here. Live your best life, okay? So here's your heads up. There is a dearth of sperm donors now. Universities aren't in person. A lot of stuff, a lot of sperm isn't being donated to these uh, clinics. Um, so now on social media, Facebook is popping up trying to bridge that gap. Don't get tripped up. Somebody you know needs to see this, send it to them. Like, comment, subscribe. And be careful out there. Keep your pants on, all right? Don't just go along uh, like a sheep, okay, and donate because you're, some Facebook group reached out to you. They don't care. You could be on the hook, depending upon your jurisdiction. And there's a lot of rules and regulations around it. Do your homework. Be careful out there.